Hey guys, this is Alan Moore, Certified Financial Planner and Founder of Serenity Financial Consulting. Thanks for joining me. So I have a confession to make. I am a CrossFit addict. Uh, if you don't know what CrossFit is, it's essentially a workout program um, that focuses on basically functional movements by doing varied and high intensity workouts. Um, if you haven't seen the CrossFit games on ESPN lately, uh, definitely check it out. You can YouTube it as well. Um, it's a great workout program for me. It really fits my lifestyle and the way that I enjoy exercise. Um, so along with CrossFit has come the paleo lifestyle. Uh, now, paleo is essentially it's the way that you eat, um, but they say diets are short-term, lifestyles are forever. Um, so paleo it basically looks back at how did our ancestors eat and tries to replicate that. It says, well, maybe we should cut out some of the modern-day changes we've made to our diets. So really when it breaks down, it's a lot of meat, vegetables, and fruit. Cuts out processed foods, sugars, um, a lot, it cuts out grains, so it's gluten-free. Uh, and a lot of people that, that eat paleo have chosen to go dairy-free as well. Uh, so it's a pretty massive change. Um, so the, the switch has been difficult, I'll admit, uh, but it has happened, I guess, easier than we expected. Uh, so my wife and I decided to make this change a few months ago, and so far it's going great. Um, so I think there are a few tenets that we can learn from, from our transition to eating paleo that we can apply to our personal financial lives. The first thing is to make minor adjustments. So people don't respond well to change, particularly major change. Um, our minds and our bodies are just not wired like that. We, we actually do like the same thing over and over. Um, and so in going paleo, we didn't try and do it all at once. Uh, you can't go from eating McDonald's burgers every day to eating a really clean paleo diet um, and expect that to be easy. What ends up happening is you crave what you've given up, uh, which eventually leads to cheating. Uh, and when you cheat, you have regret, guilt, and it just spirals out of control until you eventually just abandon the change, uh, which is the last thing that we want. So the first thing that we did was we cut out rice and pasta which is pretty difficult uh, to get that out of our diet, but we were successful. The next thing started cutting out breads. Uh, the next step that we made was focusing on breakfast, which was really hard because we generally just ate cereal or waffles or something like that. Uh, so making those minor adjustments over time and kind of implementing the new changes until they became kind of our new reality or our new expectation uh, was incredibly helpful. So the lesson here is don't try and just completely make a wholesale change to your financial life all at once. You can't just suddenly decide, oh, I'm going to get out of debt or, oh, I'm going to spend on this, this very set budget. Um, you can't just make those changes immediately. Try making smaller adjustments over time. Cut out the Starbucks latte um, a few times a week. Eat at home a, f a few more times instead of eating out. Just make those minor adjustments. And it'll be something that you can actually implement and stick with. The next step is to have a clear goal. So our goal is to eat 80% paleo, which essentially gives us the freedom to go out with friends uh, for dinner one night or pick up a pizza if we're running behind. But we have a very clear goal of 80% paleo. Basically, that's two cheat meals a week. Um, what this allows us to do is gauge our progress. So if we have four cheat meals a week, we know that we're off. Uh, and if you do the math, two cheat meals is not eight, or is not 20%, I know, but you know things kind of get worked into diets and snacks and things like that. So you never really know. So that's our goal. Um, by setting goals, you, you know when you've actually achieved them. You can look back and see progress. So the lesson here is don't try and, and set unrealistic goals, but mainly but just start by setting goals so that you actually know when you've accomplished them. And I've also found that setting goals allows us to have permission to get out from under the stress of, should I be doing more? I hear that a lot. Should I be saving more? Should I be spending less? Well, by setting clear goals, you know whether or not you should be saving more or if you're just fine. The final thing is going 80%. Do what works for you. Uh, so we decided to go 80% paleo because we knew that we could actually implement that in our lifestyle. We didn't try to go 100%. Going 100% would have meant giving up dinners out with friends and the quick pizza when we wanted it and going out and enjoying ourselves or going out for a dessert. We didn't want to do that. And 
I knew and my wife knew that if we tried to do that, we would never actually implement 100% paleo. So we went with 80%. The lesson here is that set realistic goals. Set goals that you can actually achieve. Um, maybe one day we'll go 100%, just not today. It doesn't work for us. And the bonus lesson um, overall from having uh, you know transitioned into a paleo lifestyle is do not listen to others. So others are going to constantly tell you what you should and shouldn't do, how you should do it. If the right people are on board, so in my case, it was my spouse. Um, so if you have a spouse or a partner, particularly in your personal financial life, they're going to need to be on board with the changes that you want to make. But expect to get a lot of criticism and just expect to have to ignore it. As long as the right people are on board and you focus on those clear, realistic goals, then you'll be just fine. So I think the overall lesson here is set those goals, make them realistic, and make sm minor adjustments over time. Don't try and be, you know, make these wholesale changes. Looking back, we've really enjoyed the fact that we have made the transition, but it has been difficult. It hasn't been easy. Um, so you just have to stick with it. Uh, have somebody that you're accountable to. Again, in this instance, it's my wife. Have somebody that you can be accountable to as you make these changes. So what do you think? Have you ever tried to make a major change and failed? Um, have you ever had more success with making minor changes? Is that something you've ever actually tried? Definitely feel free to share in the comment section. So that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for joining me.